So the other day I was listening to the Andrew Huberman podcast, and for those of you who don't know who he is, he is a neuroscientist from Stanford who specializes in, well, neuroscience. And one of the biggest things he talked about in that podcast was about a study that was done several years ago on the effects of what is called palm cooling, I know, very scientific name, on exercise. Now what this study found was absolutely amazing. Alright, so how it worked is they had two different groups of people that were going to be participating in basically a pull-up challenge for six weeks. The first group would have no palm cooling during the six week, and the other group would have palm cooling. They would use this palm cooling during the three minute rest that they would have in between each set. Now what they found at the end of this six week study was that the people who didn't have palm cooling increased their output from around 100 to 120 pull-ups to 200 pull-ups. So they did almost double their original workload than at the beginning. Now the group who used palm cooling, they increased their overall pull-up strength from around 100 pull-ups in those 10 sets to almost 600. I'm going to stand up for this because I need to get the point across to you guys that these types of numbers are ridiculous. These are things that not even steroids can do. And one of the other experiments even proves that. In the third experiment they did, they wanted to see if it could even help improve your one rep max when opposed to people who were actually using steroids. And you know what they found? They found that after six weeks of bench press training, which is what they were training for, they wanted to get their one rep max up, they found that the people who did Palmer cooling did almost exactly the same as the people who were using steroids. This is incredible stuff, guys, but to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's going to do anything for me just in one day. Andrew Huberman said he tested it on himself in one day, and he saw a 60% increase in himself, whatever exercise he was doing, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm skeptical. So, let me show you what we got going on. Over here, you can see we got the muscle bucket, because obviously I can't afford a $500 glove to cool my little hands off. So what Andrew suggested that you do is you get a bucket, fill it up with water that's relatively cool. Okay, that's another thing to keep in mind. You don't want the coolant to be super ice cold because what that actually does is it shrinks the radius of your veins, which means not as much blood gets back to your heart and then the cooling effect really just doesn't work. So I need the water to be around 59 to 60 degrees. I have a thermometer over there that I'll use to test the water, but I'm going to try and keep this water relatively cool, and I'm only going to put the surface of my palms on the water. So, I'm not really ready yet, so let's get going. Ah! A dumb kink! Ugh. All right, glad I tested that stuff first because it's around 54 degrees, which I think is a little too cold. So we're gonna let that sit while I do my other set of pull-ups. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna be actually using a weighted, weighted vest instead because I, I don't know, I usually use a weighted vest when I train pull-ups. But I'm going to be doing eight sets of muscle failure pull-ups. I haven't done this in a while, so it's gonna be interesting. And I'm gonna only be taking three mats in between, and that's it, no water, nothing. All right, so after those eight sets are done, I'm going to take a break, maybe like an hour or so, come back and do the water palm cooling thing. All right, and just so you guys are aware, this is a 20 pound vest. I took some of the packs out. Each one of these are four pounds. And we'll see how this goes. Alright guys, this is set number one. Go until failure, chin over the bar. Ah! Let's do this. Ah! Alright, that was 20. Now I just gonna Shake it out. <sighs> Set two. So right off the bat, with no hand cooling and only three minutes of rest, my arms started to get gassed and I gradually started to see my reps fall with each consecutive set. I won't make you guys watch each and every set, so right here on the screen are the numbers of reps for each set. Um, they're in order for you, from left to right. Ah. 
I just don't see how cooling my palms is going to help me any. Right now, my biceps and my brachioradialis are just super pumped. If it was going to cool those parts, I'd say, yeah, maybe it'll do something, but I just feel like at the end of this video, instead of this plastic bucket doubling my pull-ups in a day, it's going to be like this plastic bucket wasted a whole hour of my day. Now, I'm going to take a rest for a while, come back out, and do it again. Oh. What? Need your help. Give me a second. Alright, so I got 98 pull ups and 8 sets for 20 pounds. Not bad, what do you think, Josh? You gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, it is 3.43 and it's still May 17th. The temperature is 79 degrees out now. I'm going to be quite frank with you guys, I don't think this is going to work. Like, my arms feel quite pumped right now. Like, I'll be surprised if I can get 98 again. Like, that's how tired my arms are at this point. So, another note, I have not drinking any caffeine. No energy drinks, I had some blackberries and uh... Malted cookie. Oh. Alright. First phase of palm cooling. I mean, I'm actually surprised I got 20. I, mean, I, I didn't do any palm cooling beforehand. They say you shouldn't, or he says you shouldn't be cold before you start working out. Just during intermittent sets. Josh! Dad, come out here! Or someone! So I got 20 on my first one, write that down. Now I know my form was not the greatest during these sets, but I really tried to get my chin all the way above the bar and fully extend my elbows on each rep. But as you'll see later on, my form definitely begins to suffer with the fatigue that set in around set number five. So again, I'm not going to make you watch every set because guess what? Surprise, surprise, my maximum number of reps went down to, well, um, to be quite frank, I lost the sheet that Josh used to keep track of my reps. But if I recall correctly, I was in the low 80s. Not exactly the amazing results I was hoping for. Sitting here by a water bucket. <laughs> you need to buy a water bucket? No, I said I'm sitting by a water bucket. Yeah. That's what's in so to see if maybe my low reps were due to fatigue from the previous sets that day, I decided to take two days off and come back on Thursday to repeat the experiment again with the palm cooling method. But guess what? My gut instinct was right. I got exactly the same amount of reps as I did on the first go round with no palm cooling at all. Now, before you go jumping to conclusions, I need to point out a couple of things about this experiment and the studies done on this subject. The first being that I tried this over a matter of three days rather than six weeks like how it was done in the studies. Second, in the studies themselves, the sample sizes that they were working with were very small, only around seven people or so. So this, I think, gave the scientists a larger standard of deviation within the subjects than if they had done it with, say, 100 participants. Thirdly, the glove that the participants used was far more sophisticated than a bucket of water. The actual glove that is being developed for commercial use allows for very fine temperature controls and a vacuum-sealed hand compartment. Fourthly, I want to know who the participant was that got around 600 pull-ups in 10 sets, because that means that they had to average around 60 pull-ups in each set. That is absolutely insane. Maybe I'm just reading the study wrong, but in my opinion, some of these dudes must have had no legs. And fifthly, if that is even a word, is that I'm not ready to just write this concept off as junk science, because Andrew Huberman plans to have the scientist behind this device on his podcast to discuss the methods and principles in more detail for the average Joe like me. 
So while I was disappointed in the results of this experiment, I finally got an answer to the question of whether this trick works in only a couple of days. And the answer is no. No, it does not.